Hey, you crazy rugby mofos. It's Omar here. I just thought I'd check in with you quickly and have a chat about the drills I've been posting lately on Twitter and Instagram. I just want to thank you for all the support and all the kindness in retweeting, commenting, and direct messaging me about the drills. Please keep that interaction up. It's really, really important, and I love to hear from you. Just in relation to these drills, I quickly want to cover the two or three pointers I think it's really important to have and understand to be able to jackal the ball effectively. Now, this low rider drill, it gives you a few things. It gives you the hip mobility and dexterity and flexibility to level change to go low into the breakdown. Okay, so you see a lot of drills where the guy's bums are up, their arms are long, and it looks like they're poaching Easter eggs off the ground. You'll never jackal the ball that way. You need to be low and based powerfully into the breakdown. So this drill gives you the hip flick, hip flexibility, mobility, and endurance to go low. Second of all, it gives you that trunk stability and trunk, trunk power to survive the clean out, a twist, uh, a smack on the shoulders, and so on, and the ability for you to have the power to hold onto the ball long enough to either lift it or to get the holding on penalty. So it's twofold. It gives you trunk endurance and power, and it gives you the flexibility to enter the breakdown. So have a look quickly at this draw, which you may have seen, where he goes side to side in what we call the knee ride position, Yes, his hands are on the ground, but this is a nice way just for him to get his rhythm and his mobility and his trunk stability up. You notice he scoops with one hand, which is one way of doing the drill. I've gone with a single hand scoop in this particular drill. Not all of these guys are doing this perfectly, but again, they're entering low, they're getting the endurance in the hips up, their trunks are nice and low, and you notice they bounce on the ball. Now, the reason they bounce on the ball is if you make a tackle and you don't land on the ball carrier as you release, so you release but you bounce on him, he'll be able to triple roll and long place. Now, you're saying it's kind of illegal to bounce on him and get up? Well, to roll two, three times is almost virtually illegal. So what the ball carriers do is they eat a lot of time on the ground, what we call man on fire. So you stop him from rolling on fire by tackling him, you land on him, you bounce up, you release, but you stop him from long placing completely. The bounce on him also gives you the traction to get up and scoop onto the ball. So that's really, really important. If you look at the last guy, he knee rides pretty quickly and smoothly. And what he does is he bounces up on the single scoop. Again, hip mobility and the ability to level change and go right into that hole is important. Again, drills where your bum is up and your hands are long is just poaching for Easter eggs. It's pretty dangerous because the cleaner will come in and he'll clean your pipes while you're half upright and he'll hurt you or he'll just come and seal the space and you won't be able to jackal. So I hope that helped. Next week, well, this week, the balance of the mobility videos, the whole series of volume one are going to come out with the collision intro. Um, I hope you'll have a look at that link. And if they interest you, you'll be able to get them off my website within the next two or three days. Obviously, with Corona, it slowed, slowed things down. And 